Well, part of me wants to hold off for the steel drop. Another part of me, a larger part of me, wants to just pull the trigger. Uh, with the resolution at 64, SNR 34.5, which is good. FOM at 2208, Halo 0.72, gain 69.387, and a photo cathode at 2452. The only value that makes me pause is that 1.91 EBI. That's high, man. I don't know how that's going to factor into the realistic. The mall is a no-brainer. 1300 extra. Fuck it. If I have to sell the uh, KP9 to make up for the difference, so be it. But a part of me is like, don't jump the gun. Wait three, four days for the steel drop. The other part of me is like, it's going to drop. You're going to get prices that are kind of similar, probably a little more, and their laser prices are going to be higher than, than this. So, it's a tough choice. We're talking six and a half thousand dollars here, man. That's two and a half SR15s right there. <laughs> that's, that's real money. And once it's done, it's done. And that EVI is on the brain, dude. So, I'm going to think it over a little more. And uh, the EBI is high, man. 193. Fuck. The EBI was like 0 0.9, 1.0, 1.2. .1 but 1.9 EBI is. Fuck, man. But I have, a part of me feels like if I hesitate anymore, I'm going to regret it. Because the steel drop isn't going to be all that. And the laser prices are going to counteract the savings. And for slightly better specs, you have to eat another five, seven hundred. you know? It's time to be a kind of man up and just make a decision, I guess. All right. Man, it's getting cold in this bitch. From 80-something degrees to 50-something degrees in like a matter of hours. I reached out to Larry. I was like, dude, here are the specs. What do you think? You know? There's always that hesitation because next week, Steel could drop some crazy deals on super high-end specs. And they might have the same mall discount. You don't know what to expect. They're saying it's going to be a big sale. Or they could have a nice PVS with better specs, but the mall isn't discounted. So it's like, it's a 193 EBI versus a sub 1.0, that huge of a deal. Or do you just send it? I don't know, man. I just refreshed. The one I selected is still in cart. It's not out of stock, but... I don't know, man. This is a big decision. Biggest choice I'll make as Jake America since the, we started all this shit, you know? I don't want it to be the wrong one. So I hesitate, you know? Here's Larry. It's a big leap, yeah. His EBI on his is 1.3. He's not sure how much of a difference I'd notice with a 1.93 versus a 0 0.7, 0 0.9. I don't know, man. Is it a wash? Does it make that big of a difference? I don't know. Well, there's a lot of money. And not just the money. It's once I send it, that's it. I'm locked in. 
that's what I've got for quite a while. Is it the logical choice? Or do you hold off, roll the dice, hope the steel drop is even better, and they have the mall for the same... I mean, that mall discount is 600 and something dollars, man. That's, that's 100 more plus than the Freedom. 500. You could get down the road Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, and it drops, and uh, you're able to snag a tube with a little bit better specs, lower EVI, slightly higher FOM. Cool. But their malls aren't discounted as much. They end up spending even more money on an overall package that isn't as good all in, you know. So I'm going to think it over the next 5, 10, 15 minutes and make a decision. And tomorrow morning, I guess we'll find out what I, what happened. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. It's a big choice, man, especially for me. And I just don't want to make the wrong one, you know. All right. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Peace.